Who amongst us doesn't like a switch that's concealed like the uh, ejector seat in James Bond's Aston Martin? So, it's little things like this that make me happy. <laughs> Not the fastest, but it is a work of art. Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes E-Class convertible. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Mercedes E-Class. 2.1 E220 CDI Blue Efficiency SE Cabriolet. It's a 2011 on an 11 plate, has done 45,024 miles, one registered owner, fuel economy, urban 34 miles per gallon, extra urban 60.1 miles per gallon, and combined is 46.3 miles per gallon, 0 to 60, 8.9 seconds. Top speed of 143 miles per hour out of 175 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So it's finished in black with, um, I suppose, caramel leather. Uh, got the big Mercedes emblem in the grille there, the, the kind of chrome trims around it, the, the, the chrome trim on the uh, bottom of the spoiler, front parking sensors. The uh, split multi-spoke alloys, power folding door mirrors, black hood, chrome trims around the windows and up the door uh, panels, which are carried on through the around the bumpers. Electric boot release, or you can control it from the key as well. Reversing sensors there, chrome exhaust tip. Not a fantastic amount of room in the boot because obviously the hood folds back. It's a four seater as well. So the, the hood comes to uh, about there, but with a bit of careful packing, you can get quite quite a bit in. I've got two camera cases, a tripod, and, and so one of my camera cases is, is like uh, so big. So let's say careful packing and, and you'll, uh, you'll have enough to go away for a weekend. The chrome trim around the boot here and the shark fin aerial. Oops. So the, the first thing is, it's a four seater. It's probably uh, only fit for children in the back or adults on a, a very short journey. Um, Mercedes E-Class coupes have a problem, which uh, we're going to rectify anyway. These handles here the chrome plating or the the chrome plastic comes off them and it's it turns them into to razors so we're replacing both these handles and if you're going to look at one or, or you've got one be careful of that because when the kids get back in the back it, it is they're very very sharp um should be a recall really it's not good anyway seats are fairly comfortable as i say my head's touching the roof we've got a a centre armrest here, Isofix rear child seat anchor points, inertia reel belts, there's a, a little wind deflector here and also you've got the Parktronic display at the back here so um, when you're reversing you can see this in the mirror and you get not only do you get an audible warning but you also get flashing lights and, and it uh, indicates how close to an object you, you're getting. Now to try and get out. I might have to wait for a passerby to help me. <laughs> I'll just take you for a ride in it.
two Mercedes-Benz keys here and they, uh, they don't have a blade, they've got this kind of transponder unit. So we'll just start that up. You've got a little seat belt handerer. And here we go. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's, it's got the thing that pulls you back into the seat. Make sure there's no slack and that you can't uh, jump forward in an accident. Automatic, as I say, they, my favorite bit on these convertibles. I know it's sad, but it is my favorite. And it's this switch under the... Doesn't work like that, sadly. Although sometimes I wish it did, <laughs> especially with some customers. Having said that, I'd probably be in the passenger seat and they'd eject me. So we've got Parktronic. It's uh, at the front there. I'll, I'll cut a bit in and just show you. But you can also see in your mirror, it's just behind that, um, the wind deflector at the back there. But you, you can, oh, oh there's a, I usually pull up here, but there's a, a van just set off behind me. So seat back and seat base height is uh, controlled electrically the leg room is from a lever at the bottom nice front central armrest um, because this car doesn't have conventional headrest i can't put my headrest mount on to put the camera pointing forwards so i've got to stick them to the windows which means although usually i forget I can't put the roof down because the windows go down too. So I'll take you for a ride in it like this with the uh, with the windows up and the roof up, and then I'll uh, I'll pull up and I'll I'll need to take these two cameras off and just give you an idea of what it's like driving um, with the roof down. Today it's uh, while I've been shooting this is so far it's been raining, cold. And then the sun comes out and it's red hot. So, uh, oh my word. I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. Goodness me. They wait, they wait for me to come out. I'm sure they do. There we go. Mercedes gearbox. You can also override it by just knocking the lever across there to change down and towards you to change up. Finished in black with this kind of sand or caramel or whatever color you'd call it, beige. Um, it's not been cleaned yet. Uh, we've had it in for probably about a week, but we're just so busy. Um, it's, it's been incredibly busy the last few weeks. So uh, Lance is uh, working all the hours God sends to, to get the cars clean that we've sold and are going out. Uh, hopefully this one will be soon, although it's, as you can see, it, it, it is clean already. Just needs a tickle. I'll just give it some gas going up here. We've got the all important air scarves. It's got heated seats, heated leather seats, half folding door mirrors, and then you have the air scarves here, which blow warm air out onto the back of your neck, stop you getting a stiff neck when you've got the hood down. Drives really nice, none of the scuttle shake you used to get in the old convertibles. Can, uh, oh, can crank it. That's see that you can also moderate it from there. I think or switch it off. So that that's actually too hot, really. So I'll just knock that off. Um, on the steering wheel here, you can change at the bottom there and just click OK. We're on reserve fuel level at the moment, so you can change from trip to audio to telephone. To attention assist. Go 
got speed limiter and cruise control on the left at the top there and it is in a place where you can see it which is I don't know why I'm indicating there So anyway, back to this. So you can also, let's just change that, knock it back. And you can change the center there, your information display, that's giving you your trip computer. And uh, speedo, sorry, mileometer, average speed, average consumption. So all, all the stuff that you need really. the dash there you've got radio CD and then you've got telephone just turn that down so heated seats there your air conditioning here and it is nice and icy cold it is a warm day today just get past this caravan the uh, I can smell perfume on the seat belt here I'm assuming it's belong to a lady Chap's doing 60 miles an hour in the middle lane. And staying in the middle lane. Here we go. Right, we'll just get up to 70. Switch the cruise control on. So it's one touch cruise, just straight up. Cruise is on. Just make sure we're in top here. Tuck in. No, we're doing 70 miles an hour at um, around about 1800 revs. Nice and quiet. Uh, not too much room, uh, noise from the convertible hood. It, it has got the double lining. And it's, uh, I've got to say, it's, it's pretty comfortable. traffic looks like it's bunching up there so I'm going to uh, drop in behind this lorry don't want to cut in in front of anybody nice car as soon as we get past the uh, suicide roundabout I'll put the hood down take these cameras off and then uh, you can see what it's like it's, it's never too noisy and the audio quality probably will suffer a little bit um, my microphone and kit audio kit recording kit it, it actually picks up noises that as I'm driving now I don't hear when I when I edit back the, the noises are amplified and it and this picks it up so just a warning it, it it won't be as noisy in real life as it is through the uh, <laughs> through through my microphone. It is a good-looking convertible, really, and, and I like this shape of E-Class. And also, there's, there's nothing too fancy in this car. Um, you have got a parking brake which is a foot brake and not a handbrake but still I, I prefer that to uh, an electric parking brake anyway this this chap doesn't know where he's going either I'm just going to sit back here because I'm not convinced he's not going to just turn across I 
Oh, that's that's early breaking. <laughs> early breaking and lots of breaking. Nice car there. And it looks like it's had some paintwork on the front, Mr. Bylox. Chap who owns half of Preston. And he's uh, busy trying to buy up the other half. There's a few dents up that side. He needs to get Marky Mark or Dent Man on that one. It looks like it's several shades of uh, whatever colour Rolls Royce call that. Fifty miles an hour. No uh, wheel wobbles or anything like that. Uh, we've got a couple of motorcyclists coming up here behind and I want to go across here and uh, I don't want them to uh, run into me. Oh, now, now they're going to run into this farming equipment. Get past there. They're actually sensible riders, so... Okay, I'm just going to knock these two cameras off here and put the hood down. So I'll whip that off. properly so here we go Okay, let's get going. See if uh, the cameras are somewhere near. Ready? <laughs> this video's going to be a nightmare in editing, I can tell you that now. Now, on a road like this in the old days, early convertibles, you, you'd be, the, the whole chassis would be rattling and you'd be kind of wobbling down the road. 
Um, not, nothing like that with this car. It's really, it's really nice. Just try this um, air scarf now. Now we've got the roof down. So there you go. On full chat there. So, yeah, the, the air conditioning's on cold or low, and there's uh, warm air coming out of the air scarf. So that's it's a really good idea. It's a great feature. Just getting a live chat there as well. <laughs> it's uh, it's all happening. Great vehicle and uh, yet another good car. If you can't go away this year and enjoy the sunshine, buy this and at least enjoy what we get over here. <laughs> Which I know is not a lot. Okay, so I'll finish the test drive there. Nice car. Um, just remind you, please like and subscribe if the, the video's been of any use to you. Um, I've, <laughs> I've had some funny comments uh, recently. Uh, I, a lot of people uh, compare me to John Virgo, the snooker player. Um, they also compare me to Alan Partridge and um, oh god david brent um, but uh i got one yesterday i i looked like somebody called uh roy cropper off coronation street so uh i i'm i'm sure they're meant to be insults but i, I find it really funny so i'll see you in the, in the next video thanks for watching not sure what it's going to be next um it would have been an audi a4 but that's that's sold before it's even before we've even had a chance to photograph it and uh we've got a uh another c-class to to photograph um a discovery commercial uh what else other things which i can't remember so thanks for watching again and i'll see you in the next video Ciao.